Hi everyone, Miss Riley here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a super cool science project you can do right at home. Today we're going to be making something called salt dough and we're going to turn it into a volcano. So what you'll need to make the salt dough is a mixing bowl, salt, vegetable oil, food coloring is optional, a one cup measuring cup, and something to mix it with. I also have rubber gloves here that I'm going to wear when mixing so that I don't get food coloring all over my fingers. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my salt and measure out one cup of salt to put into my mixing bowl. Now that I have the salt in my mixing bowl, I'm going to use my measuring cup again and measure out one cup of water to add to the salt. Now that I have the water in my bowl with the salt, I'm going to measure out one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Now that I have the vegetable oil in my mixing bowl with the rest of my ingredients, now I'm going to put on my rubber gloves and add a few drops of food coloring. Now for my food coloring, I added one drop of red and one drop of yellow because I wanted to make my salt dough orange, but you can use whatever color food coloring you would like. Now I'm just going to start mixing it all together. At first, you're going to want to use your spoon or spatula to mix it, but as soon as it gets more difficult to mix, you will start using your hands, which is when my rubber gloves will come in handy. So as you can see, it's now becoming more difficult to mix with my spatula. I also added a cup of flour to the recipe to thicken it up a little bit, and now I'm going to use my hands to mix it even more. So the next step of this project is to grab any empty can or a small bottle that you might have, something that you can use to put the salt dough around it to form your volcano. So as you can see, I have my salt dough wrapped around the can. Of course, it doesn't have to look perfect. As you can see, mine does not. And now it's gonna be time to make your vinegar and baking soda mixture to pour into the volcano. What you'll need is a mixing cup, red food coloring, baking soda, dish soap, and vinegar. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my mixing cup to mix two cups of warm water with a few drops of dish soap and a few drops of my red food coloring. Okay, now that I have my warm water, my food coloring, and the dish soap all mixed up into my mixing bowl, I'm going to take my baking soda and I'm going to use um, a tablespoon and add two tablespoons of baking soda into the top of my can. Now that I have the baking soda uh, inside my volcano, you'll want to take your water dish soap mixture and pour it in before the vinegar. So you'll want to fill your volcano three quarters of the way full with the warm water and dish soap mixture. And now it's time for our vinegar. Let's see what happens. And there you have your exploding volcano. Oh, there it goes. I added a little more baking soda and a tiny bit more vinegar and you can watch it erupt all over again. This is a great experiment and project to do at home to learn more about the chemical reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar. Have fun!